Now, Switzerland is caught in a unique dilemma. It wants to spend billions on new fighter jets, but the government is being asked a rather difficult question. Does it need fighter jets at all? The country maintains military neutrality, so why does it need warplanes? Also, who is Switzerland's enemy? Our next report explores. This is Switzerland. Just 41,285 square kilometers in size. Zoom out and you realize that Switzerland is surrounded by the NATO, France, Italy and Germany. Switzerland has no prominent enemies. Its foreign policy dictates military neutrality. And one can't think of a reason why any country would want to attack it. But the Swiss government wants to spend 6.6 .6 billion dollars on warplanes. The current fleet of F-1-18 Hornets go out of service in 2030. So Switzerland is looking at buying either the Airbus Eurofighter or the Dassault's Rafale. Also on the table are Boeing's F-A-18 Super Hornet and Lockheed Martin's F-35A Lightning II. Whatever be the choice, the procurement will cost over 6.6 .6 billion dollars, which is a sizable portion of Switzerland's 715 billion dollar GDP. Can Switzerland afford these warplanes? Yes, it can. Does Switzerland need these warplanes? Well, that's a tricky question. And the answer is likely to vary depending on who you ask. Priska Sailor Graf is a member of the Swiss Parliament. She has one question for the Swiss government. Who is our enemy? The question calls for serious reflection. If you look at history, it's been 173 years since the Swiss army fought a war. It was in 1847, during the Sonderbund. Since then, the country's troops have only been mobilized against possible invasion. That too, only twice. Back in the 1500s, Swiss mercenaries were among Europe's most feared troops. In World War I, the country had around 220,000 frontline troops. During the Second World War, Switzerland maintained armed neutrality. The stand remains unchanged, 75 years on. In fact, Switzerland has the oldest policy of military neutrality. As for its strength, today the Swiss army has around 21,000 active personnel. There are approximately 326 tanks, it has zero attack helicopters and a defense budget of 5 million dollars. Switzerland has no prominent enemies. But does that mean it can do without being prepared for the worst? Or will the jets be nothing more than expensive toys? The question has now been put to the Swiss voters. They will cast their vote in a referendum scheduled for the 27th of September. That is the coming Sunday. The vote may not favor the purchase. Why do we say so? Again, history. In 2014, Swiss voters rejected the purchase of Gripen jets. In 1989, 35% of the Swiss voters wanted to scrap the country's army. What's the need, they asked. Say Switzerland decides not to buy the jets, will it be the only country without a fleet of functional warplanes? Far from it. Ireland, Malta and Luxembourg do not have jets, neither does Somalia or Liberia. Your report, we own. World is one.